actually tried this one before, but it didn't work because the glue gun that I had, the nozzle was too small. But guess what, guys? Now, I have an even bigger glue gun. And the nozzle is nice and big, so the string can actually fit through. First things first, we put down the parchment paper. Then we get our foam. Whoop, good, good. Then we fit it to size. Take it like that. Come on. This parchment paper is just a little too good because tape just never wants to stick to it. There we go, just like that. Looks good. Now for the part I got hung up on last time. Move that off to the side, get our bigger glue gun. Up the tip of this one a little bit. And we're gonna put the string. Yeah, I have a good feeling about it this time. I'm gonna clip off some of the extra string right there. Now time to load this baby. Ooh, something's coming out already. Now I'm gonna do this until some string comes out. You got this glue gun. It's not coming out yet. Is it gonna do it? Okay, come on. Look how big of a pool I've made. Still not coming out. I'm trying, guys. Come on, string. Oh, oh the string's pulling. Is it coming out? Hmm, I have another idea. I'm gonna try drilling it. It seems to have cracked it a little bit, but uh, I don't think that's a big deal. It went all the way through. Ugh, pulling out the old one. Okay, now I have to try and get this through here. Oh, uh, let's see, what can I do? Maybe I could just get the drill and then just uh, do this. Push it through. Ugh, that didn't work. Mm. Oh man, what else can I do? Maybe if I snip it in half, and then I get the zip tie, and then I just kind of push it through. Nope, I need this little screwdriver. Okay, get in there, come on. It just doesn't want to go through. Mm. This is so hard. Maybe if I do this, it'll grab it. Whoa, it actually worked. Okay, snip that. Let's cover the tip in glue. Ouch. Okay, now let's try this again. I really hope that this works. Oh my gosh, I finally burned myself with a new glue gun. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna cut it like that. Maybe with the string being centered, that'll help. I don't know. Okay, I let this cool for a little bit. Now I'm gonna cut this so that it's exactly in the middle. Yeah, that looks like it's in the center. Load that in there. Okay, let's hope this works. How are we doing? It's coming out yet? Is it gonna do it? I don't think it's gonna do it. Oh, come on. Dude, I've gone through so much glue. I'm gonna load another one in there. Dude, I am going through so much glue and there's no string coming out. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Why isn't the string coming out? Oh, oh, it got a little harder. Is it gonna work? Is the string coming out? I think it might be getting clogged. Oh, I pulled the string out and now it's all coming out. Ow, just clamp my finger. Okay, load even more glue in there. Okay, so I bought an industrial glue gun and this still didn't work. The tip is pretty wide and I don't know why this isn't working. So I'm gonna have to say that this whole thing just doesn't work. Also, I just wanna point out, look how much glue I wasted. Oh my gosh, that's like four glue sticks right there. There. Okay, so now we're just gonna step on this ball and apparently it's gonna feel amazing. So here we go. Oh yeah, that's great. So it feels a little dangerous though. Maybe I should be holding something while I do this. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I'd say this is a great foot massage. Yeah, this isn't bad. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. I'm gonna do the other foot. Yeah, sure, I, uh, I guess we could say this works. <laughs> Okay, so here's our light. Now we gotta break it. This is a very strong light bulb. Holy crap. It actually bent the freaking metal before it broke the light bulb. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, two. How is this light bulb so freaking strong? What the heck? One, two. This is a very impressive light bulb. I think it might be because it's like an industrial bulb and it's meant for really high and low temperatures. But it was the only freaking bulb I had. Maybe if we break out the old knife. One, two, and... Holy crud. Oh my gosh, it's actually bending the tip of my knife. This is an impenetrable light bulb. Okay, I'm just really gonna go for it. One, two. Oh my gosh. How? I did not think it would be this hard to destroy a light bulb. One, two, and... Oh no, I broke in my light bulb. It's stuck in there. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna get all these glass bits out because that's scary as heck. Look at that. Look how bent that is. That's how bent I had to make it just to get this freaking thing out. Okay, so now we have a problem. We can't get this out by pulling or twisting it. So what do we do? We get a bottle. And then we just kind of light this on fire, heat it up real good. Okay, then we put that in there. Let that cool a little bit. It's even twisting out already. Wow. That's cool. I mean, it doesn't stick to it like I thought it would, but it actually made it come out. Wow. So I guess we could say it works. Now I have glass all over my desk. Oh my gosh. Gotta clean this up. 
So I feel like I've tried this before, but you know what? Let's give it another go. So let's go ahead and write something right here. Here's our regular eraser. Not very good, let's try a different one. It's looking like it didn't erase very well, even with the regular eraser. Now let's try the rubber band. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around. Wrapping, 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 wrapping. Now let's give this a go, shall we? Oh man, that is making it so much, like, messier. Okay, yeah, that's very messy. It's uh, not looking too great. Does this pencil just not like to get erased or something? And here you have it. It looks like it did uh, a worse of a job than it did the actual eraser. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work that great. It kind of works, but it doesn't really work. Okay, so here is my headlight. As you can see, it's pretty foggy. See, pretty freaking foggy. Now we're just gonna add our magic Coca-Cola and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. <gasps> Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Okay, cool, we're good. They did it just like this. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like it's getting clearer. What? How? How? No way. That, no freaking way. What? Let's do a before, and this is after. Dude, okay, so it looks a lot clearer to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. Okay, so we got our Pringles can. All we need really is the top though, so. Perfect! I uh, don't need these anymore. I already know, so many of you guys are probably bad at me for doing that. Let's see how good these chips still are. Oh, that does not sound good at all. Yep, they're all broken. Oh, actually, I mean, some are broken. I mean, they still taste fine. Okay, so anyway, I wasn't sure what size mug to grab, so I grabbed every single mug in my house. So let's just start testing all these. Uh, no, mm, uh-uh. Oh, no! That's a no-go. This one I already know is not gonna work. <laughs> What about this one? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. no, no. Okay, you're the last hope. It doesn't fit. What about this one? No. Nope. Okay, so out of all these mugs, this fits none of them. Okay guys, so for the whole second half of the video, I forgot to plug in the microphone all the way, so I have no audio from this whole video. And I already recorded the whole thing. So I'm not gonna record the whole freaking thing again, you understand? Anyway, I went ahead and I spent $20 on candles. So I already freaking did this video and I can't refilm it. So uh, here's a freaking $20 candle. So we're gonna try to get the wax out of this jar uh, using this knife. Oh man, this is definitely gonna take so freaking long. Well, uh, I guess just enjoy me trying to get the wax out of this jar for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. Oh look, surprise, surprise, I broke the jar. Well, uh, I guess there's nothing else to do besides uh, break it even more. Maybe I could get some of the candle wax out just by hitting the back of it. Bobby, what the heck were you thinking there? Okay, now it's time to Hulk smash. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, I broke the tip of my knife. That's what I get for freaking stabbing glass. That's such a stupid thing for me to do. Uh, okay, let's break this thing open. Hulk smash! Smash, smash. Come on. Uh, open up. I need it to freaking open up. Smash! Okay, that didn't work. You got this candle. Oh my gosh, this looks so weird. It looks kind of cool though. Uh, I gotta get this wick out somehow. Okay, now what the heck am I supposed to do with this glass? I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the little wick out. Uh, there we go. Slide Slides out nice and easy. And we have ourselves a wick, a very blurry wick. I'm actually gonna use the wick from this candle. Um, so I just have to try and break this thing open. Come on, you could just gotta break it. Just uh, snap. Come on, get out of there. Just, oh, there we go. Broke open that candle. And now we have ourselves a nice wick that we could use for later. And also all this extra candle wax. Now we have all of our melted wax. Okay, here we go. And now we gotta melt it. So just for this occasion, I knew that it was gonna take a long time for this wax to melt. So I brought out my blow torch. Yeah, just melt the wax just like that. We're melting it for both ends. It's gonna melt in no time. Melting, 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 melting. You guys like my voiceover? I'm sorry my voice is so annoying. I wish that I had a better voice so that I could voice over things better. But, you know, I just don't know how to react to things that have already happened. Like, none of this is surprising to me. 
looks like we got our wax all melted down. It's looking pretty good. That looks like some pretty freaking melted wax. And uh, it is getting all fogged up in my lens. Great, that's just great. Let's go ahead and try and add the wick. Let's put it in there just like that. Now we're gonna put all the wax in the bottle. Let's hope I don't drop this on myself. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh man, this is getting everywhere. Oh, oh, it shrank. Oh no. Okay, so since it shrank, I guess I'll just dump all the uh, stuff that we put it back in there. Oh no, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. This was actually really scary because it was just popping everywhere. The wax was literally popping everywhere. Do you see that? Do you freaking see that? That is so scary. It's like bubbling tar. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and then we're gonna try it again. Okay, so it turns out that uh, you're supposed to actually put the wick in afterwards after watching the video. I feel kind of like a dumb boy now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But first we're gonna put the wax inside this bottle now that it's cooled down a little bit. Put some of this wax in here. Oh no, it looks like it's doing it again. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Yeah, that's definitely melting the bottom of it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Are we just gonna go all in? Is this the one where I go all in? I forget. I think it is. I think this is the one where I went all in. As you can see, uh, it melted the whole bottom and now it just kind of shrank up. So, uh, I definitely think I'm gonna have to try this one again. As you can see, I was very frustrated because I had to do this three times and I freaking lost all the audio. So, we're just gonna pour that back in there and, uh, we're gonna try it again once it cools a little bit more. God, this bottle's so hot. Yep, that's a very hot bottle. It's melted the bottom. Okay, now it's our third attempt. Let's see if we can get it right this time. We're gonna go ahead and pour the wax in. I've let it cool for about half an hour now, so I don't think that the wax is gonna be so hot that it's gonna melt the bottle. So we're gonna keep going, keep going. Oh, so far so good. It's looking good, looking good, looking good. Yep, this is the one where I go all in. Keep going. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do you believe that this black stuff is wax? That's so weird. It doesn't look like real stuff. We're almost at the top. So close. That actually kind of looks like real coke. That's kind of scary. Almost, almost, and top it off, and boom! Woo! It didn't melt the bottle. Now it's time to add the wick. Put that in there and drop it in. And this is where I kind of freaked out because I didn't have anything to hold the wick. <laughs> So I ended up using these skewers that were rubber band together from another video that I did. And then I broke them off. That way they weren't super long. And I just kind of let the wick uh, chill there. And that was that. So now we're just going to let it cool down for a little bit. Okay, so we let it cool. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty solid. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the wrapper off just like this. Use an X-Acto knife. Cut that off. Okay, now for the real fun part. I get to cut this plastic off without cutting off a finger. Okay, so we make the first incision. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. And the plastic is kind of tougher than I thought. I'm gonna grab a different knife. So here's a different knife and we're gonna do some surgery here. Woo! Cut down the middle. Cutting. Keep pulling. Woo! And we're free. Woo! Oh my gosh. Look how good this turned out. It looks like an actual bottle of Coke. Does that fit back on? Nope. Kind of. Yeah. Wow. This turned out a lot better than I thought it did. It looks like I can't really fit the bottle cap on though, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. We're going to be lighting this on fire anyway. Let's go ahead and put the wrapper back on. Wow. This actually looks like a real Coke bottle. Wow. This just turned out really good. So I guess we're going to say it works. Apparently this eraser can clean this dirty phone. Yeah, so this phone has uh, some fingerprints on it. Let's see if uh, this uh, actually works. Hmm. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so smudgy. Look at that. There's like a weird film on this now. Oh gosh. Maybe it was something on the eraser? <laughs> Thank you to everyone who said bless you during this video. Okay, we'll try it again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't really look much better. Okay, I'm gonna try just breathing on it. Maybe that'll make it better. I'm gonna use my beanie to clean it off. Yeah, that didn't really make it much better. I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. So here's our bowl. Here's our baking soda. Put that in there. Yeah, that looks like it'll be enough. Can we put some warm water in there? Ooh, I think I might have put a little too much. Is that up? Yep, I definitely put too much. I'm just gonna put a little bit more baking soda. Because, you know, you can always fix things by adding other things to things to fix the things. That's not always how it works. But in this case, I feel like we got it up to the correct ratio. Wow, this looks like snow. It's kind of cool. This is so neat. Oh, yeah. So now it's time to put the stuff on my face. I'm actually wearing makeup right now so that I don't look as tired. But if you look at it, I have quite a few pores that are kind of just like clogged and stuff. This is what my nose looks like normally. It's very clogged, very pory. So this is before. And I'm even wearing makeup too, so that's really bad. So let's go ahead and put this on. Oh my god. How did they get this to stick on their face? Uh, 
<laughs> what the heck even? Okay, come on. I believe you could stay on there. <laughs> Okay, not bad. We got this stuff. I'm getting this everywhere. Okay, now stay on there. Oh, ah, fell off. Come on. Okay, it looks good. How long am I supposed to leave this on for? And then I get a toothbrush and I just kind of scrub it. Oh, just lightly scrub it. Don't want to agitate my skin. Oh, yeah. My nose definitely feels way cleaner. Oh, man. Maybe uh, dab some more of that on there. Oh, yeah. This is going to take off all my makeup. <laughs> I feel like my face is going to look worse. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, yeah. Get all in there. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my face off now and uh, I'll show you guys the results. <laughs> Hey, uh, and here we are. Wow, my face is really red. So as you can see, it took off all my makeup, so it's probably not a very good comparison. But I mean, how are my pores looking? Skin's very red. It doesn't look like it really did all that much, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, this is kind of how my skin looked before. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's my scar. That's a scar that I got when I was like five years old. Oh man. So I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work that great for me. It might work for someone else, but it didn't work very well for me. <laughs> So here's this pan. I actually use this to melt wax and I could never get it all the way out. But maybe this toothpaste will do something. We're just gonna put it all in there. Yeah, there we go. Get a bunch of that toothpaste in there. Oh, yeah, that should be enough toothpaste. Then we're gonna go ahead and scrub it. Rinse it out. Oh my freaking gosh. So guys, it looks like it actually works. <laughs> Wow, there's like no more wax in there. I've been trying to get that wax out for months. Well, not months, probably about a month. Well, anyway, I guess we can say this works. So this is one that I always wondered if it actually worked. I'm pretty sure it does, but I could be completely wrong. So we got our two warm monsters. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's warm with this thermometer. Perfect. Okay, so it says here that the monster can's 138 degrees. Is that a sticker? <laughs> It's a sticker! Okay, press the button. It's not working. What the heck? I think I broke it. Is the battery not incorrect? What the frick is going on? It turned on. Oh, it's working! Woo! I got it to work! So it says here that I am... I'm gonna see if I have a fever. It's still going up. Almost there. 97.3 degrees. Oh man, that was actually kind of sharp. Okay, let's see what temperature these cans are. 84.2? 83.8. Maybe I have to open them up first. Well, this is a complete waste because it's 11 o'clock at night. What's this one at? 80.6. Okay, so we're gonna say they're both at about 80 degrees. Okay, get our water. Get our towel thing. Okay, get that nice and wet. Now we're gonna put it on the monster can. All around it. And we're gonna do another one just for good measure. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and put these in my mini fridge. Okay, and the first one. And the second one. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer. Okay, five minutes. Okay, I'll see you guys then. Looks like we're good. Okay, how are we doing? Ooh, kind of cold to the touch. Not very cold to the touch. Okay, let's see how cold these are. Here we go. Ugh, okay, let's see how cold this bad boy is. Ooh, that's kind of cold. Also a little gross. Okay, so the one that didn't have a napkin on it is 75 degrees. So it went down five degrees. Uh, let's see how cold this one got. 74. <gasps> what? It went down nine degrees. Woo! So I guess we can say it works. What do I do with these monsters now? It's like 11 p.m. Oh well. Oh, that's a warm one. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, so here's our bubble wrap. We don't really need this whole thing, so uh, let's go ahead and cut this down a little bit. Yeah, that ought to do it. I put it on this book. I hope I don't regret this later. We get our chocolate and just kind of put it on there. I feel like I'm definitely doing this a little too thick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. Spreading, spreading, spreading. Dude, this is gonna look so weird. I hope this actually works, that I'm just kind of wasting all this chocolate. I'm sure it'll work. Five Minute Crafts has never lied to me before. Let me put a little bit more on there. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let's throw this in the freezer. <laughs> Here we go. Dedicated just to this crap. Let's turn this up a little bit. Yeah, that ought to freeze in no time. I'll see you in a sec. Goodbye. Okay, it looks like we're all good to go. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Let's remove the book. Now I have to try and take it off of the bubble wrap without breaking it. Uh, this is gonna be the hard part, I think. Or it might be super simple, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely coming out really easily. Whoa, it looks like a honeycomb or something. Dude, that is actually really cool. Break that off. Dude, how neat is that? Whoa, okay, so I guess we can say this works. Still tastes like normal chocolate though. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So I'm actually running out of chocolate to use, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and use this white chocolate. Ugh. Oh, my finger, ouch! Okay, put that in there. I'm sure that'll work. Man, why do I always do this to my spoon? Okay, now I throw this in the microwave. I'm sure it microwaves the same way that this chocolate does. Or I could be horribly wrong, who knows? Okay, good luck. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I feel like that's not a good thing you're supposed to leave in the microwave. Put it on my disgusting stove top. And I'll see you boys in one minute. Oh, got chocolate on my microwave. <laughs> okay, how you guys turn out? <gasps> it actually melted properly, cool. I also gotta grab some sprinkles. Oh man, this looks so delicious. Okay, so here are our balloons. I'm gonna go ahead and blow one of these up. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks like it's a good size. Tie that. Cool. Bring this over. Mix that up one more time. Oh man, that looks so good. That's like marbled chocolate. Now we're just gonna cover the balloon in chocolate. Oh my gosh, yes. What the heck even, dude? Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I just have to make sure that I do it evenly. Oh gosh. Okay, get on there. Oh no, this is getting everywhere. <laughs> No, stay on. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It's all this chocolate covering the balloon. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. Okay, now put this off to the side. I'm gonna get some parchment paper. Put that right there. I need a flat surface to put it on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Here's my parchment paper. <gasps> no, it's stuck to the balloon. I always make such a mess. Oh my gosh. This looks so delicious. Oh, then I gotta put sprinkles on it. So let's try and put the, oh, frick. Just put sprinkles all over it. Uh, next sprinkles. Here's some rainbow ones. Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh, I got on my camera. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks good. Dude, this looks amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this in our freezer. I have to make sure I don't drop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is scary. I have to do a bouncing act to get it all the way down there. Uh, now join your family. Okay, be good now. Okay, let's have a peek. Whoa. It looks like an apple, like a candy apple. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this chilled plate that I have. I'll clean that up later. My goodness, this is a piece of art, I tell you what. Okay, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of patience to come off. I'm trying really hard not to break this thing. Come on. And then if I touch it, the chocolate gets a little bit hotter and then it becomes more brittle. So I can barely even touch it. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. <laughs> no, I just made a hole in the bottom. Dang it, I'm so close. Okay, it's almost all out. Come on. <sighs> okay, it's almost all out. <gasps> no! Okay, almost there. How'd they get the balloon to not stick? Okay, it's a little scary that there's some rubber in here now, but um, you know, no big deal. What am I gonna do? I need to patch that or something. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, you know, except for this hole right here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll be right back. Okay, let's add some ice cream. Oh man. Ooh, rainbow sherbet! Oh man, I'm gonna need so much ice cream to fill this. Okay, this ice cream is really hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and break out the blowtorch. Oh, that's a little better. That should be enough ice cream. Next, I'm gonna break out some whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh man, that looks so good. Then we're gonna add our little leaf thing. This one kind of is a fail, but that's fine. Then we get some of our weird uh, bubble wrap chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That looks pretty good, actually. If you guys would eat this, tell me down in the comments down below. Next, I need to add a spoon. Boop and boop. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Tori Dabransky. I have a present for you. You want some? <gasps> that is beautiful, Robbie. Oh my goodness. You want some? Yeah, I'm so proud. Oh. I mean, there's whipped cream on it, so it's a little gross. I know, but there's so much chocolate everywhere. Is it just filled with whipped cream? Oh no, there's ice cream in there too. Okay, I was like, oh no. Are you joking? Did you really put whipped cream on rainbow sherbet ice cream, <laughs> Robbie? Out of all the like combinations, you chose that one. I mean, this has a little bit of the leaf left in it. Does that just mean it's gonna be minty? Are the leaves actually still in this, Robbie? No, there, no. Okay, that's good. It's good? Yeah. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, I do not approve of the whipped cream and ice cream combo, but like this bit's cool. Whoa! Oh, oh no, you have a little. I know, I have a little hole. Just nurse it, yes, nurse. Nurse the ice cream. Is good? I was expecting it to be mint, but it's, it's I'm, it's <laughs> good. I really like the also oh, balloon bits. Oh, you gotta be careful for those. Those garnishes. are kind of scattered all inside of that thing. Can you clean it out first? I did, I tried. Okay, well, I approve. This is very much, I wish I had different ice cream, but I approve. So you think it works? It looks like you have ice cream on your little. Oh, I have, it's chocolate. Oh. Uh, oh, it's there forever. Well, I'm gonna have to say it works. I have to destroy this somehow. I have to destroy it? Don't you want to eat it? Okay, I'm gonna destroy it, ready? No, not in my room, no, no. I'm gonna eat it all oh, along. I got it, wait, wait, let me put it in your face. No, yeah. there's spoons in there. I'll take the spoons out. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. 
No, oh, I can't breathe. It's in my nose. <laughs> Did it work? Like, oh, it's so good. You dropped a little bit. <laughs> Mmm, this is some good stuff. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. No, no, take it back. You, uh, I don't you want enjoy it. it. I don't want it. I'll see you later. No, no, here Goodbye. You <laughs>Okay, so I feel like this one's actually kind of wasteful, but uh, here's our fire pit. Let's set a fire, boys. Now we gotta set the fire. Now we light it. Is it gonna light? Why isn't it lighting? Is this water or something? Is, isn't there supposed to be a big dramatic, like, boom? Oh, wow. Actually, yeah, that is getting pretty big. We better put it out. Oh, oh. oh man. Okay. Ah. Okay, guys, we better put it out. Oh! That got all over me. Ah. Okay, that shouldn't be burning. I mean, it put out the fire, so I guess we can say it works. Okay, guys, so here's our tape. I made sure that it's pink uh, so that it goes with our aesthetic. Gonna take that off. You rip this into pieces. Zoom this bad boy in. So then we're just gonna like that. Maybe I should have done the other way first. Just like that. Yeah, it looks good. That's how to do that with the rest of my fingers. I really should have pre ripped more of these because now my fingers are covered in tape. Oh, oh no. Okay, here we go. Come on. Like that. This is so hard to rip. Maybe we could do it around my finger like that. I'm such a good beauty guru. As you can tell, like that. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. No. Nope, I messed up. I messed up right there. That looks better. Now for the pinky, the last one. Because I definitely don't want to get nail polish splatter in the place where I got nail polish on my finger. Better cover that up. Yeah, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. And then we get our straws. Well, I only really need one. So get out of here. Let's go ahead and go with pink for this one. I'm just gonna take this off. Wait, where am I supposed to put this brush? Maybe over here. And it fell over. Stay up. I'll just put this off to the side. Please don't get everywhere. Stop! Okay, stay over here. Be a good brush. I'm gonna take our straw and just kind of dip it in. Now I gotta blow. Oh, that didn't work. This is proving to be a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, let's try this again. It doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh, I just got a big glob of it on my nail. Oh, that one kind of worked. Okay, not bad. Yep, I think this is kind of working. Sick. Now we got perfect paint splatters on our nails. Now let's go ahead and dip it in our cornstarch. Oh, yeah. Let's get it all in there. Just get in that cornstarch. Yeah, that should work. Because as we know, <laughs> oh man, I got that everywhere. <laughs> God, this is everywhere. Anyway, as we know, cornstarch instantly dries nails. So, ah, didn't work that time. Just gonna pull these off. How are we looking? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up really quick. There we go. That's a lot cleaner. My hands are still covered in cornstarch, but that's fine. So it looks like our nails didn't turn out very nice. I'm sure this probably kind of works in some way if you execute it right, but I don't think I executed it right. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this didn't work. Man, zip ties sure are a wonder, aren't they? Honestly, what can't they do? See this guy? This guy's uh, this guy's broken right here. So we're just gonna put that through, and uh, boom! We got ourselves a new thing. Except it slips right out. So what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, maybe get some pliers. Okay, come back. Got this. Ha ha! Woo! We now have a new zipper. So we're just gonna snip the tip, round that off a little bit. Yeah, I definitely don't feel like I'm gonna cut myself on this at all. We have to do the zip test. I guess we can say it works! So this is the Adventure Mobile. And this is the new and improved Adventure Mobile. I got this bad boy off of a guy on Craigslist. Let's hope I don't regret that. So here's our tire, here's our toothpaste. Put that underneath there. Now let's see if it'll get every drop out. Tori, start the engine. Okay, go forward. Oh, that's backwards. There you go. And it looks like we got all of it out. Woo! Tori, here, you need this? No, Tori, stop, you need to stop. Stop, stop, Tori, 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 stop. <laughs> well, I guess we can say it works. Do you want to brush your teeth now with this? No. Here, put it, put it in your mouth. No, put it, put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Gross! Such a cute girl. Okay, so I just want to say this one, kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so here's our water bottle. Let's go ahead and cut a face hole for this bad boy. Just gotta... Okay, here we go. Come on, we can do it. Woo! 
yeah, yeah. This one feels a little bit ridiculous. I think I need a little bit more space up here. A little bit more. Okay, maybe that'll work. This part kind of hurts my chin. Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that one seems to fit. And we're gonna get a tape. It says we're supposed to use insulating tape, but this is kind of the only one I have, so I guess we'll have to make do. I'm gonna line this with tape so it doesn't hurt my face. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Then we're supposed to take this bad boy off and fill it with cotton balls. I think just one should do fine. Put this thing on there. Oh, I was supposed to put coals, actually. Good enough. Two holes. That's all we need. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I feel like I did this completely wrong. Yeah, there we go. Then we gotta do like a mouth cover thing. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna duct tape it to my face. Cut it like that. One piece of duct tape. And two piece of duct tape. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and put this on my face, I guess. Okay, here we go. Put this over here. Yeah. And then this one. Oh, it's covered my eyes. This one over here. I definitely feel more protected already. Maybe I should put like even more tape. Tape it underneath my chin. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tape it to my face even more right here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I got it on my eye. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, now time to put this thing on my face. This smells so weird. I can't breathe very well in there. Okay, I just want to say I feel like this is very dangerous. I can't breathe very well. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna spray something before I pass out. Okay, now let's see if I can smell this. Well, I can't smell anything. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say it this way. Okay, so let's get our toothpaste. Now we need to get rid of this cap, because, oh no, I lost my cap. I don't need that anymore. Then we're gonna get our industrial glue gun. And we're just gonna put it all over this bad boy. No big deal, see? Yeah. This looks like it's gonna be a great cap. I really hope this doesn't damage the toothpaste, because I kind of need this for the rest of the video. Oh no, I accidentally squeezed out the toothpaste. Oh man. Okay, so we got it all over there. Oh no, it's dripping. Oh no. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit, and uh, I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, that looks like it's been cooled. Uh, let's try and take it off. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Did it melt onto it? Oh no. This is not looking too good. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh. I think I may have just ruined this tube of toothpaste. Okay, yeah, that's not looking too good. Did I do this right? It looks like I did. Well, there's our cap. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna hold anything in the tube, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't work at all. So I guess we can say that this doesn't work. Oh well. Okay, so if you guys follow me on Twitter, which you guys totally should, at RobbieEpicSauce, you guys will know that I absolutely love pizza. I am the pizza boy, okay? I am the pizza boy. I think this one's gonna be a pretty good life hack for me. Okay, so it looks like they opened it up, and then... Is it this one or this one? I think it's this one. Just... Oh no, I ripped it. Oh, crap. Oh no. Okay, get that out of there. This is a very gross looking pizza box. <laughs> so then I have to make a weird V shape here. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that with some scissors. Is this right? I don't know. Okay, that one's done. There we go. And then it looked like they folded these in, but I don't really have those anymore. Then they did that. Uh, I don't think I cut it in the right place. Just... I don't think I did it right. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like it worked pretty good. Well, I guess we're gonna say that this works! Okay, so I've actually done this one before, but I'm pretty sure I used the wrong kind of chocolate. So this time, we're gonna go ahead and use multiple chocolate. Um, this is actually baking chocolate, as it says right there. I I'm pretty confident it's actually gonna work this time. Okay, so we got our boiling water. Let's put the pan inside so we don't actually burn the chocolate. Then we just go ahead and drop some of this chocolate in there. This chocolate was actually kind of harder to break than I thought. Uh, look at that. I'm actually struggling to do this. It's like, boom! These are such big pieces of chocolate. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for these to melt a little bit. Put another one in there for just for safety. There you go. Wow, look how freaking glorious this looks. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this looks like it's fully melted and uh, all good to go. As you can tell by my voice not being in sync, uh, I had problems with the microphone still. So uh, here's me saying a bunch of words. I forgot what I said. I walked away from the camera. And now the Coke bottle's all by itself. Yay. Okay, so here's me uh, putting the chocolate in the Coke bottle. Looks like it's going in pretty easily. Not bad, there's a lot of chocolate in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up in the bottle, um, make sure it hits all the surfaces. And it's, uh, it, it, it looks like it's, it's going pretty evenly. 
It kind of scared me how the chocolate had different colors all around it. It kind of marbled a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I ended up just kind of moving the chocolate around uh, for like 10 minutes uh, because I wanted to make sure that it was spread evenly and it didn't just have a giant clump of chocolate in the middle. Okay, and uh, this is right where I put it in the fridge. So I will see you guys in about an hour. Okay, and uh, the audio is back. Man, I feel so dumb for not plugging my microphone in all the way. Oh my God. Okay, so it's nice and frozen. Now time to cut this baby out. Here we go. Maybe if I open the cap first. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's definitely solid chocolate. Okay, now cut it like this. Keep going. Is that gonna cut it out? Is that cut out? I believe in you, chocolate. You can escape. Come on, keep going. Come on, be free. I'm trying really hard not to break the chocolate at all. I'm pretty sure it's already way better than Tori's. No offense to Tori. I know she can hear me right now. Oh, it came off! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not bad so far. It's almost out. You can do it. Please don't break on me. Please don't break on me. And... Woo! We got it! It is free! I got chocolate all over my hands now, but it's fine. It is good. Oh my gosh. Let's put the little cap on that. <laughs> It looks a little funny with the cap on, but it looks like it's actually working. I put the label on. Aha! I need some tape. Okay, tape this on. Oh my gosh. I did it! I got a freaking Coke bottle made out of chocolate! I did it! I don't think it's hollow though. Uh, that might be a big problem. So we're just gonna cut the tip off and see if that will fix anything. Oh, sick! It's actually hollow inside. That looks a little, uh, nope, it still looks weird. Mmm! <laughs> Not bad! Some good chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and try and put some of these M&Ms in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to do one at a time. Oh, no. These M&Ms actually say Robbie Epic Sauce and Tori on them. Thank you so much to the person who gave these to me. You know who you are. Okay, it's gonna take a while to put them in one at a time, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Oh, man. Dude, they are so, this is gonna take so long. Okay guys, now it's time to show Tori. <laughs> Tori, come check out this thing that I did that you couldn't do. I'm such a good boyfriend, I know. Tori Dabransky. Tori Dabransky. Look at what I did. You actually did it, right? I did it, I actually made it. Oh my God, that's so cool. It turned out so good. I know, who would have thought actually using the proper chocolate for it? <laughs> It turned out so nice. Aww. Isn't that so cool? That's so cool. You actually filled it with all. And I filled it with little M&M's. You even filled it with it. Do you want to break it open? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna film you break it. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I really don't want to break it open though. It looks so cool. How about I give you a little hammer? Here you go to break it open. Oh, oh god. Okay, that's, that's, okay, Tori. Okay, it's dead, Tori. Hey, it's dead. Stop. You're, you, you're killing him. You're killing him. He's already dead. This is really fun, though. I really like it. I like my shirt. Hey, that's my shirt. You guys can buy that shirt down in the description down below if you guys really want one, by the way. It's good chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty good. I approve. You guys can say it works. Boy. So the first thing we're gonna need are some bowls. Take the little one out. Then we're gonna get an army mat. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of line them all nice. This whole thing's a little bit morbid if you really think about it, but who am I to critique the master genius that is five minute crafts? Gotta get some more. Just gotta make sure that this lines up. Oh, there's none on the bottom now. Uh-oh, maybe that'll do it. I feel like this is gonna be such a big waste of army men. Did anyone else play with these when they were a kid? I know that I used to just like shoot them with my slingshot. I just had to make it bowl-like. Guys, come on, think as one, think as a bowl. I think I might have done this wrong. Okay, I'm sorry though. So they lined it with the bottom like that. Now I'm supposed to just fill in all the cracks. Dude, this is so morbid. Yeah, this looks good. Now it's time to make my whole house smell like burnt plastic. Okay, let's preset the oven. They didn't tell us an exact temperature, so I'm just gonna do the magic number, 350. Okay, pop this bad boy into the oven. You be good. How the heck am I supposed to know when it's done when my whole house smells like plastic? Okay, so it's been about two minutes and I'm kind of scared that this is gonna burn down my house. Are you melted yet? Nope. 
These guys aren't melting, so I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to 450. Okay, I think we should be good. Go ahead and take these guys out. Please don't hurt my hand. Oh my gosh, yeah, those are definitely melted. I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit for a while and cool down. That way they don't burn me when I touch them. Oh, see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I let these guys cool for a little bit and it looks like they didn't really stick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the oven a little bit longer. Maybe we'll try like 500? I don't know, maybe that'll work. Like I said, let's hope I don't burn my house down. Okay, last try. Let's take these bad boys out. They start smoking earlier and I was like, that's probably not good. Oh. Once again, we're gonna let these bad boys cool and maybe uh, it'll work this time, I don't know. That's my alarm telling me it's done. And I took it out because I started smelling smoke and I saw smoke and I was like, nope, not doing that. Stop! Dang it! Thank you. Okay, I will return with these guys cool. So I let this guy cool down a little bit. Let's see if it actually works. Mind you, this was kind of smoking when I took it out. Oh man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nope, uh, that's not good. There are some chunks that actually, no, these all just kind of break apart really easily. Dang, why did these break apart so easy? I guess these guys kind of melted together. Maybe if I melted them together longer, but I was just scared that I just didn't want to burn down my house. I don't know, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It's also very impractical. I pretty much just wasted a whole bowl. Well, I guess it's not that bad. So here are our glasses. As you can see, they can get very fogged up really easily. Oh yeah, it's so fogged. I think it's because I just uh, put like mouthwash in my mouth, so it's not working. Let's try the other side. Dang it, why aren't these fogging up? Yeah, that's getting fogged, all right. Well, we don't need that, because we got our soap. So just rub that soap all over there. Yeah, work that right into the lens. Here we go. Yep, that's definitely not fogging at all. I guess part of it is because these like didn't fog in the first place because they're plastic, but I guess we could say this works because they didn't fog. <laughs> I just want to start out by saying that I feel like this one's a little bit morbid. <laughs> also, I don't condone this at all. Okay, Mr. Teddy Bear, time to take off your head. <laughs> take that. Okay. And then we get our jaw. Just gonna shove that inside of his body. Take that off. Here we go. Just get in there. Oh. Still the tag, don't need that. This is kind of creepy. Then we take our hot glue gun, which isn't heated up yet, so I guess I'm gonna have to wait for this to heat up. What a killjoy, oh man. Okay, glue gun's all heated up. Now we're just gonna put that all up in there. Oh man, this seems kind of dangerous. Okay, please don't burn me, please don't burn me. Oh no, this is a mess, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and use a popsicle stick so that this doesn't burn me. Oh. It just keeps getting stuck to everything. How the heck am I supposed to get this out? Oh man, ah! maybe underneath? I don't know, I'm not feeling too good about this one. For for one, we just decapitated a bear. I think this might make me actually go vegetarian. Ow! 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 Woo! I'm sorry, guys, I burnt myself. Had that one to the Robbie Burns himself compilation. I know a bunch of you guys are making them, so there you go. Get in there. Okay, looks good. Now time for the head. Shove all that in there. We're gonna kind of do that. Oh, man. I already know I'm gonna burn myself doing this. Ugh. Don't burn myself. Don't burn myself. Come on. Oh, my gosh. This is so hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's Ooh. hot. Ow! I don't mean like the decapitated bear is hot. I mean like, ow, ow, the glue is so hot, ow, ow. It's going through the cap. That's how hot it is. Whew, wow, I didn't think I'd actually do it. I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry a little bit and then we're gonna put these bad boys together and then they will become one once again. Okay, it looks like it's all cooled down. Let's try and put this Humpty Dumpty back together. Okay, so we're just gonna uh, put it on and then, come on, you got this. <gasps> Did it, oh no, it came off. Come on, is it actually firmly grasp? Oh. First you gotta firmly grasp it and then you gotta put it on and then you gotta, come on, please go on, please go on, please. Is it gonna, <gasps> oh. I think the hot glue is getting in the way of the jar going on. So I gotta do a little bit more surgery. So we're just gonna cut some of this hot glue out. Oh my god, this looks so gross. Get out of here. Oh no, now the structural integrity of the bear is falling apart. Uh, okay, let's try this again. We're just gonna put it together. And we're gonna twist. Ah! <gasps> Did it work? I think it actually, oh. in theory this works pretty well, but I don't think I can do it because the jars that I got suck. Did it work that time? Dang it, no! Maybe I can just like push it real hard and then twist his neck like that. Oh. Okay, so this one, try it directly with the jar. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, no! No, no, no! Why? Well guys, I don't know whether to say this works or not. I mean, I can put stuff inside of him, like here's matches. Here's like a popsicle stick. 
Okay, maybe not a popsicle stick, but he doesn't want to stay together. Maybe I'll try it one more time with that. Okay, I think we did it. It kind of looks like he's wearing a weird collar. Yeah! Woo! Well, guys, I guess we can say what? Uh, oops. <laughs> Okay, so this one seems pretty simple, pretty subtle. Unfortunately, I don't have a normal kind of door where it just locks and then it does that. What is up with this echo? Oh my god. Hello! I'm in a cave! Someone help me! Okay, guys, please ignore that echo. This is freaking crazy. Maybe if I open this door? Anyway. That's what my door does. It automatically closes. So I guess what we'll try and do is see if it'll stop it from closing. So here are our rubber bands. Here's a nice thick and big one. Put it over like this. And we're gonna cross it over. Like that. And then I don't really know how I'm gonna do this part. Maybe like that. Oh, I think it might be stopping it. Oh, it got stuck. I think it might actually be working. Is it freaking working? Can I close the door still? Oh, oh my gosh, it actually works. So we'll try it again. I just closed the lock. Close that. Now we just gotta wait for it to try and close again. It usually does it within 30 seconds. Oh. Did it close? Oh. We're able to open the door. It actually works. Wow. So I guess we can say it works. So first things first, I'm the realist. Just kidding. We need a water bottle. And we need to cut the top off this bad boy. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Maybe take this wrapper off, because we don't need that either. Then I gotta break out the old soldering iron again. Okay, now you heat up and be good. Okay, I feel like you are nice and hot now. So we're just gonna go ahead and burn little holes in the top of this bad boy. This is easy peasy. Easy as cake. Cake is easy. Never easy. Wow, this really is pretty easy. Thanks, five minute crafts. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, we don't need that anymore. Oh no, it's burning my table. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our cup. Put this bad boy in there. Here's our tea. Ugh. We technically already have a tea bag and this is what this is supposed to do. So I guess we're just gonna rip the tea bag open because I don't have any loose leaf tea. Yeah, there we go. That ought to do it. Then we go ahead and pour our hot water. That already does not look very appetizing. Oh, there's chunks all in it. That's so gross. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to let this seep through and I'll let you know what happens. Okay, I gave this some time to steep. Uh, that does not look very appetizing. <laughs> yeah, that looks so- oh, oh! Oh man. Yeah, okay. No, this got so much stuff inside the tea. I would not drink that. I'm sorry. I cannot say that this works. This does not work. Okay? Okay, so here are my hands. I still have some nail polish from the last time I painted them. These black nail polish in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and use white for mine. So here we go, mix, mix, mix. Gotta paint my nails real good. I am the best nail painter there ever was. Look how good I'm doing my nails. I am the best nail painter ever. Uh, uh, look at, ah, oh, no, I got too much. What do I do if I get too much nail polish? How the heck do I fix this? Five minute crafts, help me. I need your help. I can't do this on my own. I'm like a 24 year old man child. Oh, it looks like uh, some of my nail polish from my last nail job is kind of mixing with the white. That's not good. Boop. Yeah. Oh my god, I got too much on there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and bring in our cornstarch. I probably should have opened this before uh, I started filming this, but you know, you live and learn. Then we're just gonna put our fingers in one at a time. Just kind of get it around there, mix it up real good. Now my whole finger is white. Perfect. So apparently I just do this and it instantly dries off. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow this off. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. I don't have a brush to like brush them off. Did that work? I can't really tell. I mean, my fingernails are white. I don't know. I think it kind of worked. They're not really dry dry. Oh, they are kind of dry dry. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna have to say this works. Okay, so here's our steel wool, here's our battery. <laughs> Here's our battery. Here's our cotton wool. Whatever that is. I think they're just called cotton balls here. Anyway, let's try this. This is kind of scary. Is it just gonna combust on why me? Why is nothing happening? Is something supposed to happen? Okay, what's going on? I'm not sure why, but nothing's happening. I'm getting a feeling that this isn't steel wool. Come on. Light on fire. That's all I'm asking you to do. This battery is getting real hot. I just hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but this isn't working. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Yeah. 
Here are our matches. Take some of these bad boys out. Put that away for later. They painted theirs a bunch of different fun colors, so I'm gonna do the same. Here's green. Here's blue. Oh no, it blends in with the background. What should I do? And here's pink. And you know what? We're just gonna ditch these two guys because I don't want to bother with them. I'm gonna go fill our bowl up with water. Okay, here's our water. Apparently, we can just throw these in because they did it right after they painted them. Man, I really hope that this uh, doesn't cause them to not work. So we take these bad boys out and we just go ahead and do this. What's that? It's not working. Maybe this one? <gasps> this one actually worked. Oh my God. Guys. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. But only with green nail polish. You have to remember that one. <laughs> Okay, so this seems like a really interesting one. We got our Sharpie, we got our lighter. <laughs> Let's go ahead and light this on fire and see if it stays. Holy crap, it's actually working. How? It's kind of melting the actual Sharpie part though, uh, which is a little scary. Dude, that's actually really cool how it's staying lit like that. As you can see though, it is melting the tip. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. Oh man. And apparently I can still write with this, so let's try it. Okay, here we go. Oh no, that is not a good sign. Okay. Oh, whoo, that is very crispy. Uh, it's not looking very good, guys. I think it might have messed up the Sharpie really bad. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good Sharpie. So I guess this one kind of works. It like half works. The first part worked, but the second part didn't work. So I guess I'm gonna say it kind of worked. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here's our cup. First thing we're gonna put in detergent. Just a little bit of that. Okay, next, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make some water in this bowl. Now, just a little bit of food coloring so we can tell the difference between uh, the detergent and the actual water. Mix, mix, mix. Looks good. Put that there. So far, it doesn't look like it's really uh, changing. It just kind of turned into one black mass. I'll be right back. Here's our vegetable oil. Put that in there. Okay, that's kind of separating. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't drink alcohol, so I can't add alcohol to this, but I have baby oil, so I'm gonna add some of that. And it looks like we have some weird looking concoction. I'm gonna mix it up. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, let's see how long that takes to separate or if it will ever separate. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave this here for a sec. Okay, so I'm looking at it. It looks like there is a little bit of separation. Uh, I think we have to wait just a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit longer and uh, see if all this separates. I really hope it does. Otherwise, this was kind of a bit of a waste of time, but we'll see. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, it's been five minutes. How are we looking? Yep, uh, exactly how I thought. It didn't work at all. So I guess this whole thing's a lie, guys, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go. So I'm not exactly sure how I would test this. So I got some Glade and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it. And if I can smell it through my girlfriend's bra, we know it doesn't work. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Okay, I smell it. It smells great. It smells like Hawaiian breeze. Mmm, fresh. Okay, now time to put this over my face. I'll tell you guys if I smell it. I don't smell anything. Well, boys, I guess we're gonna have to say this works. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to do, but I guess we'll try it. We're just gonna take some of these matches out. Good, good. Then we're gonna put some good old fashioned toothpaste on them. Oh man, this is so clogged. Ah! Yeah, that, that works. Okay, we'll try this again. Yeah, just get that all over them. Perfect. Yeah, these are nice and covered in toothpaste now. I'm not sure what that accomplished, but we freaking did it. I wonder if it's just supposed to make them waterproof. Let them soak for a sec. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, here's our test. It's not working. No, no. That definitely didn't work. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say that this whole thing was kind of pointless. <laughs> okay, so here's our plate. Here's our water. Oh man, what's inside my water bottle? That's so disgusting. That's gross. We're gonna go ahead and add some food color. I'm gonna use blue, because that's what they use in the video. Mix it up. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna get our candle, put it there. And we're gonna light this bad boy. Here we go. Now for the fun part. Is it gonna work? I don't know. Is it sucking it up? Oh my god, the water's actually going up. It's actually going up. What? Oh my gosh. It actually works. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna let it all out. <laughs> I feel like Bill Nye the Science Guy. So I guess we're gonna have to say this works. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so here's our bag. Here's our pencil. Let's fill this bad boy with water. Okay, so we turn this bad boy on. Fill that up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're back over here. Now it's time to stab this thing with some pencils. Okay, so first one. Ready? So here we go. One, two, and... Oh! It's not leaking! So far, so good! Next one. One, two, and... Wow. Nice. One, two, and... Looking good. One, two, and... This is so weird. Oh, it's starting to leak a little bit. Not awful, though. I mean, it's leaking a little bit, but other than that, uh... <laughs> it's pretty legit. So I guess we're gonna have to say this works! Okay, let's see how good this really is. We got our pepper. We got our whipped cream. Here we go! This does not look very appetizing at all. Okay guys, I'm gonna eat it. Are you ready? I mean, I wouldn't really recommend it. This isn't really that great. It's kind of a bad combination actually. Ugh, I don't really like it. <laughs> Okay, so here's one of my favorite Panic at the Disco shirts. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I have some holes in it. Right here, right here. I have quite a few holes in this shirt. I wore the heck out of this shirt. So I guess we're just gonna flip it inside out. Yep, you can still see the holes. We're gonna take our tape. Just kinda, there we go. Straighten that up. We just kinda stick it on there, just like that. Yeah, good as new. Flip it back out. Oh no, we can see the white. It does look better though, admittedly. Get our Sharpie, and we just kinda fill that in. Wow. Okay, so admittedly, you can still see it, but it looks a lot less noticeable than it did before, I guess. So I, uh, I guess we're gonna have to say this works! Okay, so here are our zip ties. I'm gonna go ahead and put these bad boys together. I think I need more. Boop. Put my hands in there. Okay, so now I need it to be super tight. Uh, ah, woo! Yep, that's pretty tight. Let's hope this hack actually works because I don't know if I'd be able to get out of this. Okay, so apparently you're just supposed to do this. Ah! Oh! Ow! It kind of hurt my wrist. What? I guess we can say it works. So here's our soldering iron, here's our coke. Oh, shit, oh, no. Please don't explode on me. Oh, uh, stay, stay. Thank you. Put that off to the side for now. Now we have to make a hole in this thing the size of this straw. Okay, be very careful. I don't want to burn myself. That would be very bad. Oh my gosh. Should I be wearing a mask for this? Probably. Okay, now just shove this in here. Just like that. Oh no, I made the hole too big. Oh no. Dang, I can't believe I messed that up. Luckily we have a mostly empty bottle right here. Okay, try this again. Very carefully. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, I think it fit. And it Looks like it's still a little too much. Dang, how did I mess that up? Again. I'm the worst at making crafts ever. I think we're gonna break out our hot glue gun. Turn that bad boy on. And now we wait. And now for the funnest part of crafts. Waiting for the hot glue gun to turn on. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. This bad boy is all heated up. Now time to put this straw in the cap. Go ahead and do that. And we're gonna get glue all up in there. Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping this will seal it. I don't know. It seems to be an awful lot of work just to make your bottle squirt. I don't know. This seems to be cooled down. Put this guy in here. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Threw that on. Okay, now time to see if this works. If not, I'm just gonna get soda all over my desk again. So turn it over, and it's coming out. It's not really working. It still kind of comes out. But when you squeeze it, it does come out. Oh no! It's squirting all over the place! Well, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work like it's supposed to. <laughs> Okay, so we get our glass. Yeah, that should do. And then we're gonna fill it up. And we're gonna put this bad boy in the microwave for eight minutes. Start. I'll see you in eight minutes. Oh man, that's kind of scary. It's like bubbling right now and we're only at four minutes and 50 seconds. So we're only halfway done. I feel like this glass is gonna shatter as soon as I take it out. But you know what? Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before. Okay, so it looks like we're all done. Um, I'm gonna take this out. Oh my gosh, there's like no water left in this. Where'd all the water go? Dude, that's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna put something in there. So here's a knife. Now let's try it, you ready? Oh, that's lame. Maybe something like like this. Like literally nothing's happening. I, I microwaved it for eight minutes. Nothing's happening. I feel so lied to. Well, I guess we could say that this doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we start off with some parchment paper. 
Don't need that. Okay, it looks good. Then we need to cut it down to size. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll fit in my mouth. Then who would have guessed that toothpaste would make your teeth whiter? Who would have known? Next, we're gonna get some baking soda. Oh man, that's a lot. I'm just gonna pour it on there. I'm gonna try to put that back, actually. I did not mean to pour out that much baking soda. Then you just kind of rub it all together. Oh man, this is weird. I don't like this. Did I have to do it like this? Like, do we have to do it with our fingers? Is that a requirement? If I don't do it with my fingers, is it not gonna work? These are the real questions I need to know. Oh man. Oh, gross. Yeah, it looks like they did more of a smearing motion like this. Like, they kind of smeared it. Like they just kind of rubbed it. Put some more of this sweet, sweet white powder on. This is probably gonna taste really bad. Uh, Dude, I hate having stuff on my hands. This is so gross. Uh, okay, I need to wash my hands off. Okay, hands are all clean. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Now I just have uh, baking soda all over the rest of my desk. But as long as you guys can't see it, that's all that really matters. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this monstrosity in my mouth. I think I may have made it a little too big. Uh, <gasps> oh, that is way too big for my face. Okay, we're gonna try it anyway. So, this is my teeth before. Yeah, there you go. Get a nice close-up of that. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Here you go. Oh man, I missed some parts of shaving and my lips are all chapped. I look so gross. Anyway, let's put this bad boy in. <laughs> this is way too big. Okay, I have to cut this down. I'm sorry. I was gonna put it in for comedic effect, but I don't think I can even manage it. It'll just look too ridiculous. Even this is too big. Baking soda tastes so weird. Oh, oh yeah, oh, 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 Okay, let's see how these bad boys look. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Now this is the after. What do you guys think? Does it look any different? I think it looks a little bit wider, personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. 